Well. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. We are here. How are we all? Uh, spectacular. It's mild. The track is open for um, uh, some practice. We have a couple of rounds of a couple of heats of practice, and then we'll have some. Uh, uh, what's the word for it? Racing. Um, Qualifying. Special uh, pit walk. times. Special times. Special times, with my friends. Yes, that's what we need. Special times. Can you feel for a second? Because I'm still a bit behind after I some can. issues I we had. I can feel. Well, y you'll see the timing is already on the screen. We're Excellent. kind of falling on there. <laughs> really? Look, <laughs> I'll tell you what. The shot looks. Like. I'm just watching. We are falling once again. We fall on air. Falling on, on air. air. And uh, how wonderful and marvelous that is. It is you know what? On it's, on it's not polished. <laughs> it's not. It's at the start of a new summer season, and it's the same as the last summer season and the summer season before that. It's like Camden Ball doing summer seasons in uh, Blackpool. Yeah, we're starting as we mean to go on, aren't we? Yes. Really. Less than um, efficiently. So here we are, and we'll go back to the track now. And um, this is our main camera position, looking over modified practice. Um, What's his problem? He ain't got any batteries. It's loud. Oh, it's too loud. Well, that's mine. I'll, I'll, I'll sort that. Honestly, people just moan about everything, don't they? Okay, cool. Um, and so, so I'm the filling man because you're doing something, and now I'm doing something. Oh, hang on, we can't both do something. We can't both, both do filling. something. It's just going to have to be too loud for a second. Yeah, it's, it's too loud to him. Not even important. That's Zach, by the way. Zach is on the camera. He's currently being deafened. And uh, there's two uh, of the uh, marshals there in front of uh, oh, he's, oh he's got wow. shoe issues oh and anyway they're going out now it it's is modified practice live. happening before our very eyes having all it's sorts just, i'm it's having it's all sorts of problems it's the end the of modified practice and uh there's seven drivers on track there may be eight eight is uh, might be eight eight is enough i think in the words of an uh, american sitcom eight is triple x uh head of triple x who hasn't clocked any time. Oh, hasn't even started yet. Um, mm. They're going out now. I'm having tremendous problems doing what should be relatively simple. Well, Seriously, that will happen. This is, this is ridiculously difficult to do something which should be... This is really not... Oh, and a wasp's trying to kill me as okay, well. Okay, so, <laughs> so, so Mark Fisher's out there in car number seven, followed by Cyril Undai. Nicola Maron is behind him, and Miko Tepanocha, Finn Olaf Eisen, and Jesus Casanova. You know I, somehow I've managed to remove the ability to cut and paste things. And Tommy Jensen in Dreffel. So there's seven cars out there. This is this is the best. Tommy's not running either. So Tommy and Triple X, Tom and Triple X are not running. So there's six cars. I finally managed to get what I wanted to do. I, I can't believe how cack handed I am. Wow. You can, can't you? Should we say hello to everyone? It's hello no to surprise our, should to we say me. Hello to our lovely sponsors. That's kind of a cue for you to do that one with Karen doing things. Hello <laughs> to our lovely sponsors. We are RC Racing TV. Um, actually, this has not gone well, is it? <laughs> we should be, we should You're watching live RC. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do, you uh, do you want to explain why we're slightly <laughs> kerfuffled? Um, because it's hot. Not been really drinking that. beer all day. No, neither of those two no, things. No. Would it be because of um, dodgy power supply? We've got a dodgy power supply, and that is causing our satellite and our modem to stop talking to each other periodically. Quite regularly, in Quite fact. Quite regularly, and it is, it's as luck would have it, um, it's uh, the uh, it's got worse closer to when we come on air. Yeah. Uh, it was fine all day yesterday, of course. Obviously. Um, and now it's not so good, but. We are here, and things may be a little bit shaky today. I'm just going to say that. We've already done some content that's yes. pretty rock solid, actually. Because we recorded and it. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll play that out. But we're going to play that out as soon as we know that the internet works. Can I just say, I'd like to have a go at Facebook. Right, okay. So do you because want me to get Mark Zuckerberg, yeah, because Zuckerberg on the line? They're constantly giving me t hints and tips, which are actually making things more difficult to do what I want to do, and I know how to do it. Right, they okay. put these bars up where you have to cancel them or you can't do what you want to do. Right, so you feel patronised. I just feel that it's just not very useful being told what to do when I know what to do. Yeah, but have you ever thought of doing the things it's telling you to do? No, because it's pointless because it's not what I want to do. Right, okay. okay. There we are, that's, that's me. Thank you to Infinity. Yes, and very to much so. And to Montag. And very much, our good friends, Alberta, yes. And we've got one other 
super sponsor you'll see in a minute. Well, when something happens, you'll see anyway. <laughs> you will, yeah, if I've activated that. <laughs> um, <laughs> thanks to Ephra. <laughs> I haven't. But I have now. This is an Ephra event. This is the Ephra 1 10th ISTC Euros. It's the European Euros. Championship. Three Euros. There will be three crowns of thorns. There will be nine people upon the podium. Come, upon it. Uh, come Sunday afternoon. Yes. Uh, they might be some of the same people, actually. So maybe not nine different people, but there will be nine big trophies on offer. That's the... Uh, the um, <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> the Pope, not the Pope. The Pope's not involved with this. I can t- trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Many things the Pope's involved with at the moment. It's not us. Well, hello if you're watching from the Vatican. <laughs> and uh, if anybody... We have had a view from the Vatican in the past. Get out. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, oh my we've God. We've been a view from North Korea as well, because I didn't think it was possible. Wow. Yeah. Uh, hello to uh, Shell X86. Hello to Peter DeGrand. Hello to Bliss X264. Hello to Stuart Verdon's RC Toys. Hello to Rodolfo Diaz. I'm not saying your name, because it's Vood. Uh, that's uh, someone else, not Rodolfo Diaz. Uh, and that's Heavy. And Tuga RC. And hello to uh, Kim. <laughs> Kim, Kim Il Jung, yes, who is also watching us. Yes. Kim Jong Un, and Jong also Il, um, Kim Jong Un, his, uh, his holiness, progeny, the Pope, the Pope. Yes, he's also, also not watching us. Uh, just to tell you what's going on, we are at the back end of free practice and practice, and we have um, what time is it? Yeah, we've got two, two more heats. This group one, yes, with Mark Fisher, and is yes. Yeah, so we have two more heats of uh, modified practicing. Then there'll be a gap, which is uh, before, um, which we, when we're going to play out our pit walk, we've already recorded, so we're quite confident about that. The, Rock the solid. stays up. Yep. Uh, and then we are going, it's quite windy, as you can see, and then we, that's what's blowing in there, and then we are going to have a whole round of qualifying for your delectation this evening. The, the premiere round. The premiere round, indeed, round one. Tomorrow we have five rounds of qualifiers, it's quite a long, chunky day, and then on Saturday we have three rounds of finals for everybody. Fantastic. I didn't actually talk about, and I don't know if you did, what the actual championships are. No, go for it. One tenth modified. One tenth spec, as we call it now. We used to call it stock, but now we call it spec. Mm. Um, And Formula One. Yes. Or F1. or All those things. One tenth formula style racing. Formula I are. Um, So that's another another class that was added last year. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, it's, uh, it was such a success, it's, it's stuck, and so it's happening this year as well. So we'll have Formula One, we'll have one-tenth Spec, who's pretty fast, and one-tenth Mod, which is really fast. On this ginormous, absolutely ginormous track, and this is the third class mm. of event that we have filmed on this track. It is. Um, and it's, it's bizarre, because talk about multi-purpose track, first time we were here it was one fifth scale two stroke touring cars and um, so they are a lot bigger than the, i was going to say they're five times bigger than these cars no, is that four, incorrect no they're more than that actually because it's a kind of square root if you think about it, these cars weigh about one and a half kilos and they weigh 11 that's the nearest thing really isn't it so we've got these Six things they're about a foot long and i'm going to like go i'm going to i'm going to go cross um, metric Imperial. Brilliant. These okay. things I'm are about a foot. Already. And the one-fifth <laughs> one um, uh, touring, uh, touring cars are about a metre. So we've had things on this track between a foot and a metre long. This is brilliant stuff. So some people will understand, some people will be a- alienated. Almost feel like I'm, I almost That's feel like how I'm we roll. Almost feel like I'm there. Yeah. It's just like being part of the whole thing. So now we have another round of modified practice. Now, of course, one thing we yeah, will kick off they're just doing some warm-up laps now in 40 seconds roughly mm. they will go out for their practice now does this practice count for anything I don't is, think it, so. is it is it seeding controlled pra- it might be seeding practice it's so it, but that a lot that can mean a lot it can do um i'm not sure how much it means this time the higher up the groups you get the more it can be frustrating to be in the wrong group are there any turkish drivers says uh, utu kizilidag and the answer i don't think there are Hi to Duarte Vasconcelos from Madeira, one of our long-term listeners, and a man called hey, NCN TV. Yeah. NCNTV. NCNTV. Who could that be? Well, that man was here on our inaugural Alma Safis. Uh, are you in the hotel just around the corner again? <laughs> yes, we are. We are, fortunately. With the world's to, worst I, check-in. And Paul, guess what? Either they've built a swimming pool, <laughs> or I forgot there was a swimming pool. 
So let us know, Paul. Did they build a swimming pool? Or did I forget there was a yes. swimming pool? But now there's a swimming pool. Nick knew he didn't tell me. Mm. And so I don't have any swimming pants. I'm not quite sure I get a chance to do any swimming, in fairness. Not while we're busy. Oh, to be fair, we could have been swimming most of today. That's true. Uh, so they're out. They're out. They're and off. And as you can tell, it's windy because it's blowing across our mics, even though they've got little wind socks on them. Yes. And you know what's also interesting? What's that? Who's out there now is uh, Loic Jasmine. And Oliver Bultnick, well, and yeah, but Harper, th and Dave Perez Perez. So you think about Loic Jasmine, mm -hmm. and, uh, and when we're talking about drivers on the stand, I think we should lower our voices, because okay, if they uh, hear us call their names, yeah. it's going to be distracting. Call my name, call my name. But last time I was here, mm. which was when we did said one metre long cars, mm. we were here, mm. and then we went straight from here mm. to Holland. For the World Champions for the World Champions. Yeah. And, and Loic, who I'd never heard of at that point, made it to the final. And did rather well, I believe. And did he turn around and go, I'd never heard of Matt McCallum? So he's event. still never heard of me, so <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Yeah. Uh, so, that, yeah, he's out there. Is he the orange car? I don't, I don't know. know. We're, we're looking at the orange car that's going around the track at the head. Oh, there. I've got another thing to say. And I can't, That's four. What car's four? That's, that is Loke Jasmine. So there you go. That is unbelievably lucky, yeah. isn't it? That's, that's the... Um, that's top camera work that's already. the ESP that goes on between uh, me and... Zach. And Zach. On the camera. Yeah. Zack on the camera. Do you know what else? No, I've got no another else. coincidence on, for you. Let's have that in. A young driver who I first discovered. You discovered that? I discovered him, <laughs> yeah. Not personally. In large scale. Right, go on, keep going. Who? And his name is David Perez Perez. Wow, and, and now I, he's I here. first interviewed him when he was about as tall as this table. And now... He's taller. He's tall, a lot taller, and he's driving uh, smaller cars. So he got bigger, the cars got smaller. So in, he got, in proportion, he's got much bigger than the cars he's driving. He's far too hot for this shirt, by the way. <laughs> you too sexy for your shirt? This shirt does not breathe. I think we found that last year. Okay, so out there we have Alesso Menichucci, uh, Elliot Harper, you to say. <laughs> Freddy Sudoff, David Perez Perez, Loic Jasmine, Oliver Boltnik, Alexandre Laurent, and David uh, oh. And right. this is heat two. Wait, let's follow How a car around there? the track. Uh, four. Cool. And let's say one more. It's group three, heat two. So it's group. Oh, hang on. Sorry, yeah, second I round, apologize. Group three. So it's their third group. groups four. are there's four, four groups. So this is the modified. penultimate. In this is the second from top. Yes. This is the. These are the the fastest guys will be out after this, basically. Yes. But I'm sure Elliot would be saying, "I'm fast." Well, who knows? Um, let's let's pick up. Once. Car Once one, upon a the time. green car going to the bottom hairpin there. Zach can come underneath you now. That is Elliot. Right, so this is the track, as you can see. We've got a, it's very big. He's got a massive straight. And he was clocked at 110 kilometres an hour then. <laughs> Coming around the... Uh, there's a speed thing on the uh, timing hut. So we now need to name this track quite quickly. Otherwise, I'll be pointing all day. This is the infinity hairpin, I've decided. How about that? Yeah? Uh, yeah. If it was wet, we could have had the infinity pool. Very good. But so it's, it's now not going to rain. No. So is there anything that looks Emmy? Emmy? Yeah. What do you mean Emmy? Montec for M. Oh, the m well, we can have the Montec Ma Marathon because it's a long straight. Or because it's a chocolate bar. <laughs> <laughs> Montec Marathon, was mm. that going to stick? So you've got the main straight. This is the main straight, obviously. Montec Main Straight. Main Straight. Montec Main Straight. No, we, 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 I've got Main Straight. <laughs> I'm oh, bit. name something doesn't already have a name. for a bit as well. Yeah. So that's the Infinity Hairpin. Hurrah! They come back round here, turn around to the right, going through the, uh, the S, no, not really an S section, in and out section. And they come now round the uh, top corner, into the, and then through the, um, and then up into this bit here. One minute to drive. Positioning up to four minutes. It's quite precision uh, drive by Elliot now. He's braking hard. They are, two, drivers work and pay about like a grip. Five, four, eight, seven. Is it, does it get more grippy when it warms up? No, it should get more grippy. I think they clean the track off now. I think it's just going to get more grippy at all. I think it's just a combination of the tyre and the uh, uh, the track aren't enjoying each other. But I'm sure they manage to hook up a bit more as they go on. Best lap at the moment is a 20.2 by Alessia Menichucci. Um, this is all just practice and camp. Does not count Just a bit of fun. Uh, which is not really, obviously. Um, you're not helping me out with this track naming, are you? Um... <sighs> Lack of inspiration to let breakfast all over again. <laughs> well, I don't think we started off Infinity Hairpin. Mm. Yeah. Um. It's 
very windy. It is, yes. And you'll be able to hear that on our microphones, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Seven, two, I think it's probably that, that for some reason Zach stopped before the race stopped there. I don't know why. I think he got an erroneous beep. The guy at the end of that one can stop now. <laughs> Anyway, so next up will be the top drivers. Montec Middle. The Montec Middle, yeah. Like that's like perhaps middle. we should perhaps we should give up on alliteration. What? Be because it, the the uh, the infinity hairpin. Yeah, then we got the Montec the Montec hairpin. That was the infinity hairpin. No, that's the infinity hairpin. Oh, I thought that was the infinity no, hairpin. No, by the pointing on pointing off camera yeah, yeah, does yeah, nothing. Yeah. True. Right, track. Infinity hairpin, there. Yeah. So, they come around the so unnamed section of track here. The whole swathe of tracks unnamed. Yeah, yes. I know. And then round the corner to the main straight. Brum, into the top corner. Yeah. Top corner, around the corner, that's it. Up into the... Something. Something. Yeah. And coming out, and now into the infinity section. There. Section now. The infinity section there, because it's not quite hairpin, it's got a kink in it. Right. I thought you said that was... No, that's a Montec. That's a Montec one. You're Very just literally trying to confuse cocked us. up myself. My brain's overheated. It's not really my role to come up with track names. Thanks, thanks to Infinity, thanks to Montec, thanks to Ephra. Let's go. Okay, carry on. <laughs> yeah, thanks to everyone. Go to Ephra.ws to find out more about this class of racing yeah, and yourself. others and how to get involved. But yes. uh, it's not my role uh, to do that. It's the role of the viewer. Oh, okay, viewer. So, um, yeah, but they always suggest people who aren't part of our... Um, they <laughs> always suggest things they have a vested interest in. No, no really? Yeah, That's like I, I paint bodies and stuff, so. One uh, anything? High Wilder, uh, Arm. How Dougie Texera. There was a pool, says Paul. There was a pool, says Paul. They, say they hope they've hired a better chef. I don't know, we, we, we went to Mr. McDonald's last night because they closed <laughs> the restaurant for a uh, private function for a load of Japanese tourists. Yeah. Um, right. Great commentary says Haddock 4K. I can't believe that it could be uh, tinged, tinged with some sarcasm there. Okay, down below us are all our top drivers. So they go around the start line, it's about halfway around the track. So that's where they let go. And they troll halfway around the currently unnamed track. Leutz, the Lita Chicane? That sounds a bit weird. It's Eddie McCann. I think I'm going to be right. Lollich, a chicane. Six, no, it makes no sense. Five, um, four, lol, as in laugh out loud. Oh, lol, it's a sh lol, it's a chicane. Oh, sorry, you've missed the space out. I got that now. No, <laughs> laugh out loud, chicane. But uh. five, six, seven, eight. Who we got out now? The top Hello? guys. Bruno go, Cahalo. that one, that one, one, go. Bruno Cahalo. Oh, yeah. go the last car then. Yes. Oh, who's we with now? Bruno. Bruno Cahalo. Oh, I don't understand what's going on now. Victor Will, Michael Olowski, Phil Charmin Katoven, Christopher Krapp, Ronald Volker, Alexander Hagberg, and Mark Reinhardt. Just a bit of fun, it's just like, practice. It's like household names of racing. Of, it of is RC. Many world and European champions, but we'll talk about more next time around. Who are we with? With car eight. We're actually with Chris Krapp, so I'm not quite sure why we went with car eight. When I actually said go, and it was car one. I'm not, I'm not overly sure where we've got the communication here. He Zach, remember at this point, no independent thought unless we go cameraman's no, choice. Zach's been... <laughs> Did I, uh, I don't know you're talking to me. Uh, so, um, hang on. Uh, I want the blue and that round the infinity hairpin now. That's, that's the uh, car of Ronald Volker, our current reigning European champion, the Yokomo. Um, you'll see him cover up the body of that with a different car uh, when we show you our... Marvellous uh, pit walk in about 10 minutes' time. So you go now through the Montec hairpin section, coming up through the Ephra kink in front of us, yeah. and now into the Infinity hairpin. You're going to come round onto the infield section, just going round nice, the, nice uh, the Serpent S's, and onto the main straight. See, there we I've done it. I've done it now. What happened? I just, named, I just named the entire track, and you weren't listening. Well, we hadn't even debuted Serpent as a sponsor. Well, I just had to name the track. So the Montec, Montec section, the Ephra kink, into the infinity hairpin, round the serpent uh, S, onto the main straight. Could could that be? It's a bit like a serpent's head, isn't it? Ooh, I like <laughs> that. It's very good that. But you, you say, mm. anyway, and now into the uh, Montec section and the Montec hairpin, and then through the Ephra kink, and we've done it. But now I, we, need, to, I need to do it. Again. But now you need to prove that we do. Somebody needs to do something which we can show a replay for. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost completely confident about replays. Oh, yeah. Well, 
Seven, one, two, Who are we with? Six, we still with Ronald. Ronald. Okay. So um, move forward to the all orange, uh, all green cars ahead of him, which is car five of uh, Victor Vilk with the serpent, which helps really, I suppose. As he goes down the main straight, middle of three cars, onto the uh, onto the oh lovely bit of uh, you got that got that. We can see that again. Let's see if we can see that again. It's our first replay, thanks to our new replay, the serpent. And you'll see a serpent having a bit of a tail out moment here and there we go a little bit on the edge on the uh, focus there but never mind so it's a bit long i reckon right do you agree yeah down to five seconds could be a 10 second replay so that's it now with victor as he goes on to the main straight here at the altet circuit alma says now this is the last it's uh, only six round. now so should we say four i go five i think uh, the thing to remember is we have to go get it and that that has a thinking time in it. You're a thinking time. <laughs> that makes no sense. You're a thinking time. <laughs> Bruno's the fastest guy out there with just under two minutes to go. Hello to Ant Lockyer. Hello to uh, Scottish Phoenix. Hello to Crunch8. Crunch8. Hello to Eddie McLean. Uh, yeah, so we've got the track name now, which is just, well, we're only a minute 36 to go. Let's there's any better names yeah. come along. We're in the all-white car, the, whatever that is. I think that might be Bruno, actually. It is in the all-white four. So Bruno now goes round the infinity hairpin, into the serpent's head, like that. Now onto the corner, leading onto the main straight. Down the main straight, hitting a top speed of 114 kilometres an hour in the first corner. And then he comes sharp round this right-hander and into the Montec section, where he's going to come underneath the driver's rostrum, into the Efra kink, and that's a lap of the circuit. Give me five. Fantastic. My job here is done going home. So a minute to go. Have you had yeah. other cameras? Have you shown the other cameras yet? We, well, we've only got one other camera. Oh, yeah, because we, we pulled off the other ones to do the uh, thing. Yeah, good point. And that camera. Said. Now, now. So, yeah, that is the infinity section we are looking at infinity right now. Infinity hairpin. And that does need to be slightly reframed, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah. Quite a nice shot, though. Slightly wider. Yeah, it's a good shot. So, uh, yeah. Hello from the UK, from Andrew Simulator. Hello, Andrew Simulator. Hopefully you get Andrew real later. Just, boom. just taking a look at the uh, pit area. There is not many people there. That is the small pit section. And they are all out doing things. And on yes. the other side of this driver's stand, there's the crowded, the other pit, set, the, the other pit, which is a lot bigger. And we'll be taking an in-depth look at that. You, we, you, in, I, uh, five minutes? Five minutes. And we'll be talking to Bruno, who's out there now. And... Alexander Hagberg is out there Mark. now. And Mark Ryan is out there now. And Ronald is out there now. And Michael Olowski is out there now. And Victor Vilk is out there now. And Eric Harper is out there a minute ago. And some other people who aren't in the top heats. We did. We talked to them all. It's a lot of night, actually. Finish. Packed it all in. It did go on a bit. Seven. Yeah, that's true. And we talked to uh, one that had four legs. Yes. From, Mal from Malta. From sort Malta. Uh, uh, in uh, a Maltese way. Yeah. Okay, there's now a break. Six. Uh, of about half an hour before qualifying one. So, but don't go anywhere, as they say in uh, in commercial television. Do not. No. Do not go. So we need to go down the camera. Oh, this is this is going to be this is going to be a lot of fun. You're not going to go to our camera. Oh, we'll see what's going on then, won't they? Yeah. Right. Take off the timing. All the flappy hands. Take off the timing. Yep. <laughs> There's a lovely click there. A complete blank look from Zach. Like, what the hell's he doing? <laughs> Which one's it go in? We don't know. <laughs> so yeah, stick with us. Oh, Talk about sponsors. You're taking all the logos off, are you? No, I'm going to put them back. Uh, so yes, thanks to Infinity. Uh, thanks to Montec. Infinity are our new, one of many new sponsors this year. Thank you very much. Lovely. And Montec, one of our fabulous long-running sponsors. So if you need a chassis, you know where to get it. And you want to put a body on any chassis, that's the Montec time. So uh, we are now waiting to uh, roll with it, which would be interesting. And uh, let's go with. We started already. Go back a bit and start again. <laughs> you need to go back and start again. <laughs> you need to go. Hello and welcome to Al Musafes. I think it is. I'll get it right by the end of the day. This is the our pit walk. We are here at the EFRA European Championship for ISTC cars. That now includes includes four F1 spec and mod, and that is the track. And there is a satellite, and here is a small area of drivers. We'll come to the bigger area later, but we're going to come and we're going to talk to a man who knows all about European championships. 
It's oh, I've got the wrong side of him. It's Mark Reinhardt. Mark, hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Hi, oh, yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. So the big change really this year is after an entire lifetime of working with Tammy, you're now with Infinity. Yeah, that's right. So how how did that come about? I mean, was it was it a case Aussie, Aussie Tammy had wound up their um, their operations? Did you have like every single chassis manufacturer in the world f beating down your door for a bit of a bit of mark? Uh, no, actually not. I think I just uh, got the first offer from Infinity, and uh, that was the team I wanted to go to. So uh, I didn't get any other offers, and uh, yeah. I'm happy with it, what I have now. So to give us an idea about the, the Infinity car, is this, this the, obviously sitting there, is that the definitive version or is it still, is it still a you know, work in progress? No, it's uh, actually on the market now. It's an IF14. It's kind of the basic car. And uh, yeah, it's still we try some stuff to get it better and better, but uh, I think we're on a good way. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the car so far. You've had a couple of practices. How are you finding the track here? Honestly? or No, honestly, it's fine. Uh, but no swearing. <laughs> No, I think the, the layout is okay, but like the traction is pretty bad, and the wind makes it even worse. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's not a lot of fun to drive, to be honest. It's a really, really big track. This is the same track and the same design that five years ago had large-scale touring cars around it in one fifth, and had the IC cars. Is it? Does it suit the smaller electric cars? I think the size is not a problem. I think the size is fine. It's just pretty open layout, but um, yeah, I think the traction makes it uh, even worse. The size is fine to me. Now, we, I think, am I right in saying, if I'm wrong, please, that the, the change for this year is the modified drivers have a, a new set of tyres for every round, is that right? Actually, I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, okay, so, so it's still three sets. I know. It's not, I tell you what, we were in, uh, we were in Spain about uh, oh, how many years ago, at, uh, in the middle of nowhere, at a large scale event, and it was next door to a pig farm, and there was one inch of flies on everything. It was oh, that's two and a half centimetres. Um, all right, I think we have five sets or four sets for qualifying for six rounds, and we get one set for the final. But we can bring the tyres to the final, I guess. So. Okay, so it's still, still tyre tactics. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But so far we just use new tyres every run just to see if it gets better or not. Cool. Thanks, Mark. Wish you best of luck for this uh, first event with the Infinity. And they've gone for red. So they've stolen Kyosho's red. Um, let's see if we can meander around to the left. And we'll speak to young Mr. Victor Vilk with the world's strangest car, also known as the very effective serpent. Uh, was it XER? What is it? What's, what's the model name? Uh, hello, 4X. 4X. 4X, they call it. Yeah. Now this thing is fantastic. I think this this is an engineering marvel. When someone had one, all I wanted to do was like, I don't want to race it. I just want to fiddle with it. But completely different. You've had it for about a year now. Have you got a handle on what does what and how to move it about and set up some things? Yeah, I think we figure out, you know, how to what stuff we need to change. But um, we basically improve a little bit step by step. Have some new parts now, so it's getting better and better. But we're still learning, of course. Still it's, very it's a very, very radical design of suspension. You can see there's no uh, shocks and over, uh, coilovers. It's all done with very much like actually more like full-size cars. I mean, what is the advantage? What is the theoretical advantage of this layout? I think the, the thinking behind was that you can have a dampening up and down and a separate dampening for the side. Okay, so roll damping. Again, another, another thing from uh, full-size, if you've looked at some full-size videos, you often have what's called a third damper on full-size cars, which actually damps the, the roll as well. And, how, and Mark say there's no traction. Uh, how do you find the track? Yeah, it's uh, basically no traction at all, <laughs> honestly. Um, so we just try to yeah, make the car more easy to drive to find some traction. <laughs> Is that a mismatch between the tyres and the, tr and the tarmac, or is it uh, just because the tarmac's dirty? I think uh, with the tarmac and the wind, of course. I think basically it. Okay, thank you very much, because the wind is going to drop. So, Victor, it's good. Thank you much. Because we will have uh, the first round of qualifying right after you watch this video. Now, this is my, uh, my favourite racer. I'm not sure what her name or his name is. Hello. Very, you're very sweet. I'm not quite sure. Your, your owner's not here, so I'm not sure what breed you are. But as you know, I always love a nice RC racing dog. Hello. Never touch a strange dog. Uh, not sure what they think, what she or he thinks of the traction, but uh, certainly has a lot of hair. <laughs> well, sweet. You've missed me. I'm over here now. Hello. We're going this way now to the main, the main part of the, uh, that's, uh, that's the food hut. That's quite important. Always important to have food, obviously. Uh, this is where, oh, should we go in, shall we? This is the, the area of food. This is where our, oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. look. Paella, pasta, obviously chips. You have to have chips. Lumps of meat. A young lady tried. Hey, the young lady's tried not to be on the camera. Therefore, you have to be on the camera. That's the rule. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> and uh, that's uh, most important. The food, very important. Uh, this is where they get stickers and stuff. Not as exciting. Oh. And then 
next where along is the toilets, which you don't want to see. And then you get the main uh, area of uh, uh, the, well, the, the pitting area. That's where we are up there on the, uh, the rostrum. That's, that's Zach who's working with us with his very trendy T-shirt, taking pictures as well. And this is the, the raft area of, uh, of, of the driving sort of thing. You see, there's the drivers, drivers, drivers. And uh, let's go and see uh, an old friend of the show, as they say. Or just an old friend, or just old. It's young Elliot. Elliot, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very, very well. Now, um, we've had, we're on the other side. We spoke to a couple of... That's good. Yeah, don't stick to me. Don't stick to me. Um, how do you find the track? Everyone says it's, it's a bit low grip. There's not a lot of grip, and um, I think we're struggling with that at the minute. But we're getting there. We're getting there, slowly. But if everyone's got no grip, it's... Just a, just a leveller, isn't it? It doesn't really matter, surely. I guess so, but then um, it depends how, how the cars work, how everything else works to, to in these conditions and what people expected, I guess. So um, it's different tyre, different track conditions to what we're used to for everyone. So we're just trying to see where we get to. And what are the tyre rules this year? Is it f uh, it, Mark didn't even know, which is worrying. Um, <laughs> how many sets do you have for qualifying? Do you know? I think it's five. Should I phone Ollie up and find out? Probably. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Is Ollie doing your tyres again? Uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully, yeah. Are you pleased that we are we are up live for the first round of qualifying, but not live yet. Right, okay. But the first, I think. The, what time's the first round of qualifying? Like five. Or Quarter past four, I think. Oh, so he'll be, for you. He'll still be at work then. Or oh, rot. He hasn't got internet at work then. Mm, uh, wow. Well. Yeah. Working, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, you obviously with the uh, the Schumacher. I mean, you're you're, you're ploughing that furrow. I mean, how how different is this the car now, a year on from when you were last in the European Championship at the Hoodie Arena? Uh, so now we've got the MI6 Evo. So we had some new wishbones, new chassis, new motor mount, and some other new parts. So um, yeah, it's it's a different car, but it's still based off the same principles. So it's not a million miles away from from where it was last year. It was good last year. Um, and been good ever since, so hopefully it'll be good this weekend. Is it just a case now, really, of sort of sharpening the razor blade? I mean, are there any big steps we made anymore? It's difficult to say. I think yeah, there are some manufacturers making some big steps, um, and there are others not making big steps. I think we're probably somewhere in the middle. So a middle step. We're on a middle step, yeah. So, so, so Ollie is halfway up the stairs. That's the stair that he sits. <laughs> <laughs> we're like we're kind of yeah, we're uh, taking the middle ground, see where we get to. But it's it's working pretty well. So we'll see how it goes for us the weekend. Thanks, Ollie. And um, well, as it's a short trip, well, we'll look to the other the other uh, Schumacher um, representative, and I can speak to uh, to Michael. Michael, of course, since uh, since the last European Championship, you became a world champion at uh, at uh, GT12, but now you're back with the touring cars. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about this race meeting? Well, it's just pretty good. I mean, uh, the track is not so not so uh, good for a touring car than scale. It's a bit bumpy and big, but it's going pretty good. Do you feel that if the track is out of the ordinary, not like a usual track, it actually gives you more of an advantage because you know, you, you, it, is, it has that random factor that makes someone come from the back more chance? Mm, I'm not sure. I think uh, the biggest advantage here is for someone that drives a lot during car in different tracks. So it's like idea what the, what does uh, like the setup change it does to his car and uh, on different tracks. I got much and good luck for the rest of the day. Okay, now let's uh, meander this way. We'll uh, carry on going. You know, there's, there's, there's people everywhere. I don't know, it's, 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 like a, it's a cornucopia of protect. Oh, victim over here first. Hang on a second. Need to have a quick victim conversation. <sighs> Chris. Hello, how are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, dear. <laughs> And, and uh, is, it, is it 49 again? Yeah, that'll do. Plus a few. I'll take 49, yeah. yeah. But this, this is the good part of me, there's been no controversies yet, ever. Not yet. Yeah, you could be filming one now, though. Well, <laughs> yeah, <I'm glad laughs> what, a controversial, a controversial birthday for Chris? No, 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 no. I'm always away on my birthday. Somewhere, and this is the first time you got me. Oh, we got you now. 62, by the way. Okay, let's keep moving. <laughs> uh, it's nice to find someone older than me at a race meeting. That's the main reason I'm mentioning his age. So let's meander down a little bit more, and I can see our reigning champion. So like almost like you're hiding from me. Let's go and have a, a quick word with Mr. Volker. Oh, sorry. No. Obviously, this is a new car this is with the orange thing. Um, so, Randy, you're, you're, you're rapidly covering up your car. Are you therefore running something uh, prototype? No, no, no. I was just um, using my car. 
Whatever. Possibly. That means yes. Hey, Ronald, you are the reigning champion. What do you need to do to win this one? Because it's a very different circuit than the Huddy Arena. Well, basically, oh. trying to win um, two mains. <laughs> I mean, uh, people could pay about lack of grip, um, a difficult circuit. Is that is that? Are you finding it difficult, or is the Yokoma working particularly well? I mean, it's um, similar to all the previous years. You don't have so much grip anyway from the from the track, from the tires, from from the temperature, from the wind. So it's not much different than, uh, for example, last year or two years ago. Slightly different uh, tyre tactic this time. You've got more sets of tyres, haven't you? I think one more set, but also one more qualifier, if I'm correct. Yeah, um, still the focus is um, to be uh, fast on, um, on the runs where you use the new tyres and then trying to make good runs on, on used tyres. But basically, if the. Quite close. Um, basically, if you run new tyres and others on new tyres, you try to beat them. This is basically kind of heads up. And I think Q1 basically everybody runs normally, and then there's an um, important one. What's the drop-off between new tyres and used tyres? Um, it looks not too bad, but um, also today the, the track condition changed from run to run. Um, it didn't get so much better as expected, maybe. And we had only three runs yet, so... Um, we'll um, I am interested. You have a, you're sponsored by YouTube The Shoemaker. Is that just a kind of a joke, or actually are you some sort of YouTube... This is, this is um, a German guy. Yeah. Um, uh, he gave me a sticker, and uh, I thought, oh, it matched my... my my other stickers. So. so all we have to do to get on the world champion's car is just give you a sticker. Well, I, I know that guy also personally, so... You know me personally. I haven't bought any stickers. I, I haven't got any. You never got me any. Right, next time. Next time I'm bringing you 20 sheets. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, thanks, Ronald. So we're, we're, I'm sure we'll annoy you many, many more times like that. So it's a, oh, we'll just go over here and we have a... a hu I'm about to say a husband and daughter, but it's father and daughter team. They are a husband as well, I assume, at some point. Yeah, Getting there next year, so it's uh, Brian and Harley Eldridge. So you finally decided to uh, embrace the European Championship then, Brian? Yep, uh, so much positive about it. I thought we'd come and race with the top boys and give Harley um, end of exam holiday. That's quite a good bit. And how, and how you find the track? All the, uh, the, the, uh, the pros are saying it's tricky and, and not much grip. I thought it's just like any sort of English, <laughs> English summer day, really. I haven't tried it, but looking at the cars going round, it looks fairly difficult. Are you just mechanicing then? Today, yes, because like I say, um, Harley's just finished the exams, so we just wanted some father and daughter time rather than me race, I'll let Harley race. I don't know what this is about, I, I'd never let anyone else. So Harley, anyway, so you are now the, 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 the focus, the focus of the Eldridge team. How are you finding it? Um, it's better than when we race together, but <laughs> I like him like this, to be honest. But. So you like having him as your servant? Yeah. And how have you found the track so far? Uh, it's alright. Uh, a bit slidey on the back, but we're working on it. Is it on? Well, hello, 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 and back we are. How are we doing? Uh, sorry about that, we have some power issues here. We are hopefully uh, rerouting. There's no guarantee this won't happen again today. We are, may have to do some work overnight to stop it. So I apologise to those of you who are listening and watching and getting frustrated with refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and refreshing and refreshing, but we are uh, as annoyed as you are. Uh, and it's a technical problem which we only raised its head uh, early this afternoon after being absolutely fine, eh, uh, Matt? Just literally blame the electricity. That's what we're doing. And the camera fell over as well. The camera fell over, which was not connected to the electricity. And uh, Zach's putting it back up again. You haven't got it too accurate, Zach. We'd rather have you on the camera back here. And <laughs> when also, it's he can't hear us, can he? Yeah, he's got can his he? headphones on. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting no picture from it at all. So, could be that, um, you know, he needs to turn it on or something. It's exciting, isn't it? So, anyway, what have we missed? Have we missed anything? Yeah, yeah the end of our pit walk. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well and the F1 cars. Right, but we're going to play the pit walk out again. Mm, so there's you no graphics up there. You can get the pit walk. Uh, and we've got the graphics and we've got the pit walk. Oh, no. Actually, this is actually quite good because it gives us a chance to test all the systems thoroughly. Uh, and going out at the moment is, uh, I think, the second, the group one of spec. So it is the first of the spec heat drivers. Um, in a minute and seven seconds, actually, tell me who it is because at the moment I have a blank sheet of nothing. Um, so we are now well, looking to, to get rolling back up again. So we'd like to thank Infinity, who probably have Infinity and some amounts of power, and we'd like to thank um, our friends at 
Uh, Montec, I have Montec you're about to power, and I'll spot a replay sponsor, Serpent, who probably have a slithering amount of power. Uh, the power here, slightly more, uh, what's the word for it? Powerful. Lakey, I think oh. I'd go for. Unpowerful. I think, Zach, you're going to abandon that, mate, if you can't get it to work, because we're just heavy on the other thing. 30 seconds to start. All cars to a starting position. Just so you know, I've got to do this all over again. So. Oh, did it forget, did it? You did, yeah. <laughs> oh, the wonders of computing and graphics and power supply issues. It's just fabulous. Oh, dear. Anyway, so in 12 seconds, I'll know who's actually Ten, in this seat. I think this is not really working eight, well, is it? Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Start all. So it's Gareth Hollis, Gregory Estev, Cedric Gebert, two, Nicholas Cardozo, Steva Popovich, Chris four, Betts. Um, Fernando Iratio Boigs, Daniel Booker, seven, and uh, Woody Gimard are your uh, runners and riders on this one. See how the camera come back up again? No, I'll sort it. So uh, as they run round, um, we'll get Zach up on the camera in a second. He just uh, was trying to sort something out for us on the, on the other side. Oh, is that, it's okay. Right, so uh, let's see where we're going. And uh, let's follow um, uh, a car. Uh, hopefully one underneath me. Is that, you've got the uh, green and orange. That's kind of five, I think that probably is. Yep, and that is the machine of uh, Sveta Popovic, who I assume will tell you what country he's from on this different page. And it does. He is from Spain. Okay, I would have put money on him being from somewhere um, Eastern European, but he's from Spain. It's nice for him. Seems like a nice boy. Uh, that needs to be sorted out, that's for sure. There we are. So, pop a bitch. Now, this is a spec car. So, if you were with us before we had the power cut, um, you would uh, have been excited and known that the uh, the track has been named. And also, you've seen the cars going around significantly faster. This is heat number two of nine. Uh, there are three classes, of course, in this championship. We have the F1 class, which unfortunately missed during the power cut. Then this is the spec class. I think there's four heats of spec racing, and then there's four heats of mods. So three European championships here in Almafusis, in Spain. Uh, those of you who are massively enjoying the pit walk, if we manage to keep the power up for the next hour and a half, we will play the pit walk back out again at the end, so you can see the bits you've missed. Uh, as I said, we apologise for the problems. Um, we may have a lot of work to do overnight to sort it out for tomorrow, but at the, as it is at the moment, uh, we're just seeing what's happening with a... a re-rigging of the main power supply and then after that we'll have to uh, uh, work out what we do beyond there. So we are RC Racing TV. On the camera is Zach Fenning, desperately trying to sort the things out that got uh, slightly corrupted. It is uh, Matt McCallum and I'm on the microphone. My name is Nick Damon. And there are several flies here, which are slightly annoying. Not as many flies. Where were there those millions of flies for that last? Spain? Yeah, well, Spain, but what was the town called? Yeah, I can't remember either. No. I couldn't even remember the hotel I was in last in 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 uh, September. Um, are we used to just just look for a, what car with now. Same car. I can't really see because it's here. Yeah, move. Um, let's just put that one there. He's about to go onto the main straight now. Uh, he's got a white nose. He's green in the middle. He's got a blue wing. Uh, I could tell you who he was, but I, my eyes are so old. I have to wait for him to get down. The speed of that car. They're doing about 70 kilometers an hour. Um, the modifiers are doing 110. So that shows you the difference between the uh, modified and the spec motors. He comes through the Efra Kink. Beautifully there. Power slide on the nine of uh, Winnie Gimard. Well, hello, 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 hello. 
Oh, we turned both of them off, that's why. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're back. Uh, we have changed a lot of things. We have phoned technical support. We have rewired stuff. I have no idea this is going to work, but we're back for the modified. <laughs> 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 oh, you do not know. It's really weird. We've had so many hours to prepare for this stream. It's yep. all been terribly relaxed, and it literally turned to... I turn to excrement say in the afternoon. I, turn I, to excrement. It's never relaxed. It's never relaxed. But we are but back, uh, we think. Uh, and there will be, any second now, the uh, modified. It's supposed to be a gap between the two of them. It's not, is there? I'm looking for this now. They're supposed to go straight after each other. Uh, on that preview that you just showed. Yeah. Are we back, back? Back, back, yes. Are you sure? Does it say 6-9? Uh, probably, but I'm not even sure if it is 6 9. I'm confused now. It is 6 9. Why is there a wait? Because this is supposed to go off at 17.30. They obviously waited for the viewers at home to be able to watch. A little bit late turning up, I think. We appear to be massively ahead of spec, unless I've got the wrong heat sum. We've really not been concentrating what's going on the track. We've had our own little personal issues, haven't we? Not, well, not personal. Track issues. No, this is uh, definitely the heat. They are uh, a little bit ahead of time. Uh, and cars are going round for Modified. Hello, everybody. Um, my name's Nick Damon. We are RC Racing TV. To my left, it's Matt McCallum. On the camera, it's Zach Fenning. We're here thanks to Infinity, thanks to Montec, and thanks to Efra. And no thanks to a selection of technical problems we've been having today, many of which, in the full tradition of RC TV, are completely unique. We don't like electricity. No. We don't like wind. No. We don't like... Modems. Modems. We don't like customer service. No. Well, actually, customer service possibly are okay. Possibly okay on the customer service front. But we, we have don't like a number of elements. We have changed one, two, three, four, five, six different things when we started. <laughs> there are six different things in the chain of command that brings you this program yeah. than there were, well, what, three hours ago, variables. certainly an hour ago. Yeah. We've changed so six variables. Whether this is going to work, we don't know. But we've actually run out of Do stuff. Can I smell burgers? Burning. It's yeah, yeah it's a, it'll be a car that's gone up. Don't worry about yeah. it. Zach's worried about burning spells at an electric event. Right, take the leading car out. Let's see what happens. Let's do the job. Let's hope this all works for fun. The leading first car to move. That's what I want you to take, Zach. The first car. Yeah, can you get waiting before? <laughs> the first, that, that one. That one. The whizzy whiz whiz car. Have we got any other cameras? They've fallen fall over. Well, <laughs> there's an there's a interesting story around that. That has. Um, um, we yeah. haven't, no. <laughs> <laughs> And my water has just. Oh, God, my water bag's on the track. <laughs> Phew. What? There's a pit lane, don't worry. No, it's not. It's. <laughs> not so we can reach. So you can. Oh, oh my, oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> there's water it's lobby. Oh, a backhand. There we go. That's oh, fine. Oh, I've got water back. Uh, okay, the car is now of number one. And that is the car of David Abar. And this is the first round of mod. There are four rounds of mod. This is, if, if, if everything works, you will get yourselves about half an hour of modified action today. There's five rounds tomorrow, so you'll be spoiled by then. David Abar. Okay, he's now coming into the Montec hairpin section. He's going to go through the Ephra kink now. Blast down the straight of the Infinity hairpin. He's going to come round the Serpent's Head. And he's got horrendous oversteer. Uh, and then onto the, main, onto the sweeper onto the main straight. And he hit the top speed of 114 kilometers an hour, which is about 70 miles, no, 60, yeah, it's just shy of 70 miles an hour. 66 miles an hour. As he comes back round to complete another lap. Hooray. Well, we've been on air for a whole lap now, so that's a bit of a that's plus from before, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the really disappointing thing was we had lovely Javier lined up for interview, didn't we? We did. And, and, oh. and it all blew up. We couldn't have lovely Javier. Uh, drop back from the manual with just one car to get somebody else on the screen. Don't forget that tomorrow we'll be operating the Who Do You Want to See for the five rounds of qualifying. Who Beyond do you it. want to see? Who do you want to see? And those of you who are, and that is the car, I think it's so awfully painted, it must be Damien Giddens, it is, uh, of the silver, orange, yellow, green, I can sing a rainbow car. Oh, that's weird. What's that? They've done that. He's... he's, he's <sighs> First names. The timing. It's first names, isn't it? Yeah. You're going to have to talk to me about that. No, you are. No, you're, no. We've swap roles. No, 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 no. You're, you're the interface there. <laughs> <laughs> so at the moment, you have the first letter there, first, letter, first name. So you have David on bear in the front. Damien is second. Jesus is third. Uh, and then it's uh, Anna Vigsol. 
one of a couple of lady drivers we have here this weekend. Vice goal. Vice goal, thank you. Uh, leading this, as you can see, is David Abar. He has uh, predicted 14.05. Best time, 21.2. We saw some just sub-20 second laps with the top guys in mod. As we continue with Damien, as he goes round the Montec section, comes up through now the Efra Kink. Uh, it's quite a pleasant day here in Almafus' near Spain. Quite hot out on the track. We're nicely in the shade, so we can't blame heat for the various equipment failures. Um, on the main straight, let's... Uh, well, car's broken in front of him, I think. Let's drop back one more car again, Zach, to the pink-nosed purple machine coming around the uh, end race sweeper and into now turning sharp right. Two, takes two bites of cherry there into the Montec section. Someone's just throwing his hands up in here and walks off the rostrum. There is the Efra King, quite careful there. Tight into the infinity. I'm not sure that's the fastest way round for car three of uh, Jesus. And the wind is literally blowing everything away, so I've just given up. Uh, Jesus uh, Aparisi. Casanova. I'd left that bit out. It's new house. Huh? I thought you were going to phone 4% less of the time. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's fair to say this has not been the smoothest more afternoon, has it really? <laughs> Just a typical... Uh <laughs> <laughs> interesting, Jesus Casanova Apodesi is now leading this overall. Um, I think he just... Did you just come off the, he came off the track there, Zach? Oh, we can replay if you've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> was it more than five seconds ago? Yes, it was. <laughs> well, then, we don't have him on. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, drop back um, one car to the green, number seven of uh, Tommy Jensen Indefler, who doesn't actually appear to be timing. I think he's not, right, this is obviously his number seven, because seven isn't scoring. So I assume he's forgotten to change his numbers from practice. This is my favorite group. Is it? The people who haven't changed their numbers from practice, car seven there. There is no seven, he might not have got a score, he might not have got a, a, a um, uh, what's the word for it? Transponder in, or more likely, he's not changed his numbers, and he could be anybody. Could be Finn Olaf Assen, <laughs> could be Henning Stalvigen Nergenen, or you, Anna Vixol. Do you like this group, Nick? I love this group, do yes. you? Yeah, why are you saying that? <laughs> why are you saying that? It's a rubbish joke that we'll probably be able to have five times tomorrow. Oh, excellent. Go on then. <laughs> it's that group. <laughs> uh, it's, a, it's a hobbyist group, you mean? <laughs> Dear oh Lord. Ah. Oh. As you can see, we are now uh, just gone stir crazy with the whole. Uh, if you knew how many hours we went setting up for the whole thing to collapse round our ears spectacularly. Um, anyway, enough of our problems. We've, that's all happened now. Let's. Uh, so you've got three more heats after this, a qualifying one. Um, tomorrow there are five rounds of qualifying, and I believe we're starting at around about half past ten local time because they have another round of practice first, and we'll go all the way to about six o'clock. And it's finals day on Saturday, so. Um, and as you can hear on my microphone, it's a tad windy. Now, it's been a resort since the last one. Time is over. Race finished. So, ah, oh, got a second camera. <laughs> <laughs> He's found another camera. Found another camera. So we were going ahead for the uh, Heat 7, which is the second Heat of Modified. And it's like Jasmine in one, Michael Olowski. Blimey, Victor Vilk down the third group of qualifying. They were reseated, so we've got, some, um, we've got a real mix up here. Victor Vilk, Manuel Wagner, uh, Javi Ferrando, Alex Laurent, Harley Edridge, and Miko Tepo Naha. So Victor Vilk, who did not expect to make the A final, is down in the, uh, the second of four heats. Um, it was done on, two, I think, three or two, two consecutive fastest laps during the practice. And obviously that's not worked for Victor. And he's down in heat two. Blimey. Blimey indeed. Blimey Charlie, as they say. Anyway, let's see how, whether any of you come back to watch us after the, what can only be described as a blooming frustrating period. Not many, in well, fairness. How many viewers there are? A lot less than there were. <laughs> My favourite number of viewers. Yes, indeed. Hello, everyone. Uh, right, OK, I'm glad. If, if, you, if you have come back, um, I'm going to take a risk and say it might work a bit longer. Can you tell your friends we're back now? <laughs> All is forgiven. And those of you who are enjoying the, um, the uh, pit walk, we'll play it out again at the end. Uh, we will. Yes, from the beginning. From the beginning. From the top. Mm -mm. And you'll get all 22 and a half minutes. Of joy. 
of... Which mainly means I can cut it out and keep it later so everyone can see it. Yeah, yeah but don't cut out the first version. In fact, if we get this far, we may, we may end up crashing the opening ceremony, so our concept of not going off there to laugh with might not happen. Wow. But then again, everything could fall over before then and we'll give up and go home. Not to England, just to the hotel. But Zach has put on about 100 tonnes of sun cream. What number is it? It's 50 as well, it's high. Proper high. You should be on the. You should be on the. Look, we need. We, look, why are you not on the webcam? Come on, come oh, on, sorry, come on, sorry, cut sorry. stuff. Come on. There, there was a man putting sun cream. He's finished. It's People finished. want to see sun cream action. It's really important. No, we're in the shade. What do you need sun cream for? Because the rays, the rays. Oh, they come. They Hello to Ben Howard. It's one twenty nine in Shepparton, Australia. I'm, I'm. I'm glad you stuck with us. It'll be worth it, mate. Not sure, but uh, <laughs> it, at least you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, broke my phone. Again? Uh, yeah, I broke it again. It was already broken then. How have you broken it again? Is it now literally going to lacerate your fingers? Well, you know how it had a million shards? Yes, yeah, it's now got a million it's and one. Can, million can, and can one you shards. see the shards? Show the shards. He dropped his phone. It was iPhone disaster. And what you see there is that uh, it's got bits of tape stuck over it so that I don't cut my fingers anymore because I had a bloody thumb. Can't say that. Which wasn't pleasant. Bloody thumb. Shocking. Wasn't pleasant it must be, I'm, I'm a bit in trouble here with myself because I'm not, I'm not logoed up. But there are <sighs> logos at the bottom of the Nicholas. screen for Infinity and Montec. There's a logo at the top left underneath RTD for Ephra. And uh, when we get a replay, there'll be a logo for Serpent. Do you not want to wear the high vis jacket? No, I just want, everything's too hot at the moment. I just want to wear this t shirt. No, I know. Take the t shirt off and put the high vis on. That will look epic. No one wants to see my nipple. You will look like somebody out of the village people. Da, da, da. Young man, you can. There's no need to feel down. I said, young man. Anyway, enough of that. So, 35 seconds. When we start, can you go off with car number three, the third car off, please, Zach? That will be Victor Vilk, because the serpent, who's obviously had a bad qualifying, so a practice. Sorry, let's see how he goes once the cars get rolling. I'm going to have to change this graphic. It's going to get too confusing. Really? Well, because the system calls it Group 2 of Heat 1. Right. And we're calling it Group 7 of, right. of 9. Ten. We have right. to change it. Tomorrow okay. it's going to be changed. Seven. Okay. Six, five, four, three, I'm, two, I'm pleased you said that. One. They're off. Start on car one. <laughs> two, there you go, I see. Now, he's on a... a uh, Rattle can body in a nice bit of uh, light green. He slips his way into the infinity hairpin. There he goes. A little bit of a uh, push out. And he goes, misses the, misses the first apex by half a mile there. That, that, that may be the racing line. I don't know. So this is a very, very low grip circuit, which is causing all the drivers a bit of problems. You see, it's, it's getting the car pulled into the corners. And I think they say inconsistent. Sometimes you'll make the hairpin and sometimes nowhere near it. So through the Ephra kink, Vilk there. Again, just drifting away from where he wants to be with the apex. Much better there through the serpent's head. So he's just getting away. The tyres are coming in or what, but he's just giving himself a little bit in, uh, in the groove. And it's a very, very large track. This is the same track they used for one-fifth large scale. And uh, so you can imagine that the touring cars are a little bit lost, but the lap times, the best lap times, are about 20, about 19 and a half. Now we've already got uh, Vilk running in third behind like jasmine and michael orlowski so what we'll do is we will try and work out which one michael orlowski is which is number two i think so if you can pick up the car on the serpent's head now which is the green and blue car thanks zach and that is orlowski the man who if you watch rc racing tv regularly and why wouldn't you uh won the 112 the gt12 world championships at the beginning of the year um he uh did that at the Milton Keynes Centre. Never driven GT12 car before. Won it in the Reedy format. We'll miss that Apex what, what by a mile off. I don't like it. I would use a Y rather than I on Quali. Oh, would you? Two L's and a Y. Quali is two L's and a Y. Yeah, but that's not a word. Neither is Quali with an I. Yeah, but it's a shortened word. But you could do qualifying round RD1 group GP2. God, this is great. It's on screen grammar lessons, not even grammar lessons, grammar conversations. So Alowski now uh, is still in seconds low at Jasmine. Last time round was a 20.5. He has just moved in the top. You can tell by MIC, you see, is ahead of Luke. 
So we're currently running with uh, second names, uh, first names on the timing screen on the right. Eight cars in these ones. Be ten cars when we get onto it later. How's that? Mm. That's good. Like that. That's telling everyone everything they need to know in one easy package. Well, you know the one thing it's not doing. What's that? It's not telling them how many groups, uh, how many groups are in total. No, but we'll turn that. Know, there's four. We'll just give there's us four in mod. There's four in spec, and there's one in F1. No, there's nine in total. Yes. But oh yeah, that's eight plus one, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's been a long day. It's been a hot day, and things really haven't gone well. So, oh, I'm really not going to bother about that. That's for sure. <sighs> so anyway, so we are. Now I'm just coming in to see if we can pick up our oh, erstwhile so leader, which is car number one of Loic Jasmine. Uh, don't know where he is. Where is he? Car one. That's four. This is the first time so far today we've had a chance to stare meaninglessly at the track, looking for car number one, who will be the last car passed. There he is, the orange car there. So that's Loic Jasmine, the Frenchman. Oh, he had a. If you go back on the stream and have an exciting story told by Matt about how he first found out about Loke Jasmine, it was a stunning repartee that was. <laughs> you can talk because you are on mic. This is the whole point. You're supposed to have a conversation. Yeah, but I can't when I'm tapping buttons. I can't <laughs> do two things at once. I can't do one thing at once. Uh. So down the main straight, and somebody down the main straight was 80, 90, 100, 111 kilometres an hour, somebody did there. So that is 111 kilometres an hour, 162, 111 is about 70. As near as doesn't matter, it's 70 miles an hour. Does the F1 come at the beginning or the end? At the beginning. So we're not getting F1 today? No, nope. due to circumstances that are very annoying. This is Jasmine, as you can see. He's now running 13 laps, best time. To, of course, this all counts, really, so I need to start remembering who's done what to where. Is there only one group of qualifying uh, Today. formula? Yes, it's just group, one. Group. Formula qualifying is just it. That's it. Cool. So thank you for the you, those of you who stuck with us after pressing refresh non-stop for 45 minutes, and we apologise for that, and hopefully it won't happen again. But I can't guarantee it. I've no idea. Who knows is the answer to that question. Who knows what we're having for dinner is, is also a question. Who knows where dinner is? That's, that's kind of what I mean. Kind of. Kind of. Finished. Wow. So that's the end. Keep, keep following, follow them all in. Let's try and give extra value, Zach, by covering cars even when they're just trolling in. Seven. This is going to get forgotten. Seven. No, it's not, because you've got, you've got to remember it. When you wander off to do your other things during the day, <laughs> then it will get forgotten. You have to show me how to do it. So, getting ready for the penultimate race of the day. Gosh, this highlight of being on air at all, is it? It's literally flown by. <laughs> in a f flown with flappy wings and flappy hands. Flappy something, for sure. I've lost, I have uh, lost a bit of water. Oh, we just got some more viewers back. Hello, everyone. Um, yes, yeah, so we've got Heat 3 now, uh, which is Freddy Sudoff, Olivia Boltnik, Mark Fisher, Chris Crapp, David Perez Perez, Thomas Vigneron, Nicola Marone, and Cyril Ndiaye. And I've got a challenge for you. Go on, then. After, after Group 4 have gone out. Yeah, what's that? And we're going to go into the uh, pit walk. Yeah. Oh, so right. I also have to make a graphic for. Go on. But I've got a challenge for you to fill during that time, but not about what I'm doing. Go on then, what is it? Oh, the bottle's going to fall off. I can't have that because it might fall in the blue track again. So thanks to Infinity. Yes. Thanks to Montec and to EFRA. This is an EFRA governed European Championship. There's three European ch Championships happening here this weekend. So that's three events for the price of one. Some drivers are competing in all three. Some are just in two and some just in one. No one's in three. No one's in three. No one's doing mod and spec. Are they not, not allowed? You're not allowed to do mod and spec. You're not allowed to do that You anymore. are allowed to do F1 and one of the other two. You can't do mod and spec. Okay, so some drivers are doing two and some drivers are doing one. Yes. And some drivers are doing another one that isn't one of the other ones. So there's a, the potential 
here for <laughs> a configuration of events for a person to take part in. <laughs> what? Well, I can no, do basically no, no, go. No. Someone are doing two, yeah. and some are doing one. Yeah, but that's the one it. That, no, but the one they're doing, if they're doing two, they're definitely doing F one. If they're doing two, they're definitely doing F one. Yes. Yes. But they're not definitely doing mod. No. Or definitely doing spec. And if they're doing one, they're not definitely doing, doing anything. Exactly. Because so some people are definitely. Are so that guy we spoke to is just doing there's, there's F1. A, there's a really broad range of configurations <laughs> yes. of what yes, you could be doing. If you, you know how here. people like ter- couldn't couldn't tune in because we broke because it broke down. Now yeah. they're tuning out through sheer confusion and boredom. No, <laughs> sheer confusion doesn't make you tune out. Does Boredom, it not? Does. Boredom does. You can't be confused and bored at the same time. <laughs> it's like the thing about horror films, and I think this Zach might back me up on this. It's impossible to be scared and bored at the same time. Yes. It's impossible to be bored and confused at the same time. But you can be confused and annoyed. Yes. <laughs> bored and annoyed? No, I don't think you can. You can be bored and annoyed? No. Do you get grumpy when you get bored? Grumpy's different. That's oh, irritable. Okay. You know, it's not rage. You can't no. be bored and rage. Rageful. Raging. So, yeah. So we've summed up a range of emotions and emotions and a range of emotions that you could be feeling as a viewer. So we've kind of bound the participants <laughs> and the viewers yes. into one group of everybody's of rageful doing something. people. Yes. And some of the drivers are doing two classes and some are doing one. None are doing three. No. And it's impossible to have three emotions at the same time. Is it? Well, go on then. In a, in a way. Joy. Happiness. No, they're the same. Trepidation. Okay, you could be afraid and happy. You can be joyful, trepidatious, and quizzical. No, no. So, um, quizzical, quizzical emotion? <laughs> Jesus, we have literally only been on air for 26 minutes, or 23 minutes, and we've got off on the biggest tangent for weeks. <laughs> this headset thing's working well, isn't it? Now you can speak the whole time. This, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay, uh, just go off with the leader. Um, and we'll take the first car away, which will be car one. As you can see, they're positioned on the inside. This is the entrance to the Montec section. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, And away goes Freddie Sued off. In the uh, well, it's orange. Oh, yeah, look at that. Fantastic. We, there's quite a lot of tail out action here. And obviously, some of it must need a replay at some point in this race, um, Matt. I'm so, ready Freddie, when you are. Well, when, when something happens, obviously. <laughs> so, in and around. Freddie now much better there through that foot, that uh, the infinity corner through the uh, serpent's head. Very slow on the main straight, but at the end of the main straight, he was doing 108 kilometres an hour. So it was a convenient speed gun to get the end of the straight. The fastest speed I've seen so far is 117, which is ridiculous. He That's about 74. So Sudov is not leading this. In fact, he's way down in uh, about seventh. So he's almost next to last. Fastest lap time so far, 20.1 from Thomas Vigneron. Just like that. A bit of mill. Oh okay, yeah. let's um, drop back one car, and that's Mark Fisher in three. I thought Mark had retired. No, it's uh, Steve Weiss has retired, isn't he? He's a previous... European top qualifier from Germany. See if was Mark, not required. Required, no, it's not retired. Um, Daniel Day Lewis. He's retired as well. So uh, with the serpent, it's Mark Fisher. Hits the main straight. When we get a speedo on this one, I've looked through someone's shoulder. And it's 112 kilometres an hour for Mark. So that's again around the. I'm going to get a, 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 a conversion table, aren't I? 112 is again 70 ish. Positioning 
Um, is Andy Moore there? No, Andy's not here. Um, I'm not sure which European event he's doing this year. Hasn't he retired? No, he's running for Infinity, isn't he? Doing their development, I think. Do a lot of their, their development. He was racing a couple of weeks ago somewhere, but uh, uh, Andy's not been um, into, into many European or World Championships at all recently. Looks like he's just not running at that level. It's like Dave Spash, does well at local level, but doesn't bother running the Europe as a world. You know, he probably still do very, very well, but as former world champions, they want to be absolutely the best. You want to drop back one more car. And that's the car number two of uh, Oliver Bultnick. Coming, ooh, a little bit, almost ditch hooked the thing around the uh, bottom of the Infinity uh, chicane there. No one's gone into the 19 seconds yet. The best is a 20.111 from David Double Perez. Whoa, that was a brilliant spin. People didn't have that one on camera. Yeah, didn't have it on camera. Weren't following him. It's always very irritating when people commentate on things off camera, but I just did that, so I'm very irritating. Yeah, that's why. Thank you. Apparently Andy was the Asian Off-Road Championship. Uh, but he doesn't, does he actually live out in Bangkok now anymore? Certainly no one knows. Ah. Who drives for HB then in this class? I don't think there are any HB drivers in electric anymore, are there? I think once HPI and HB split, I think HB were only really interested in the um, the Nitro stuff. So I don't think actually there are. But if anyone knows any different, please tell me. Zip. And there's a man who doesn't do it to my left, but he's not allowed to say for legal reasons. So when this car goes past, take the car that goes past, which should be the four. So just drop back to the f half a car, if it's the orange and white, which is Chris Crap. No, it's just behind the car you're on. That was all. Sorry, I was being very unclear there. Zach. The car you're on, the car just behind it, was the four of uh, Chris Crap. He comes now through the Ephra Kink. Oh, gets past. That's it. Now into the Infinity Hairpin. He's going to sweep around the Serpent's Head, holding in tight. And again, you can see the tails kicking out of these cars. It's crazy because normally these cars are nailed to ground. They're quite unspectacular. But they're all so struggling for grip on this particular circuit. It's a well-worn, well-weathered track here. It's been used for many years. But it's interesting because the drivers kind of complain about that in that, but it's, it's the same for everybody. It's part of the challenge. Oh, you're being very polite there. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, it's the same for everyone. But it's it, it, but if it's no fun for anyone to drive on, then it's they've not, got reason to not, complain. But it's not not fun when there's low grip. It's just a different challenge. I mean, low grip is not less fun. It's just different. Really? Yeah, you drive, I've Why drive, are they moaning now? Because they are... The pro drivers want to have everything nailed down, don't they? They want speed. They want it nailed to the floor. Like Scalectrics. No, that's that's. Have you driven to Scalectrics? Yeah, they're they nowhere do, near they being now. They're, they're flipping out left, right, and centre. No, they wanted like a yeah, like okay. a twelfth circuit where they're additive down with an inch of their lives. Like basically. a train, then. Like a train, yes, exactly. <laughs> like a train. No, not in any way like a train whatsoever, <laughs> but like a train. They like it. They do like it. They like, like it like a train. a train, even though it's not like a train at all. <laughs> Jeez. Right, so we are now coming to the uh, the final race of the day. Thomas Vigneron won, won that job. one. David Perez Perez was second. Chris Crack was third. And these actually count for something, so these are for points. Six rounds of qualifying. Best three, two count. Is that right? Best three. And so, it's, uh, yeah. There are seven in this, the top heat. And just so you know, I, I lose this list after a while. It's Bruno Cahello in one, so he's the fastest pre qualifier. Ronald Volker in two. Alex Hagberg in three. Mark Reinhardt in four. Alessio Menicucci in five. Little Jami Kutovin in six. And Nate Harper in seven. So there you go, seven top qualifiers. And then in, when it gets to two minutes, he goes, I can't see it anymore. So I had to say it then. Yeah, but you know what you want to do, don't you? Flick to that same. No. You want to go across the. Split the screen into two. So you've got the. Mm. So I should do that. Yep, and then pull it down. Do that. Oh, yep. I need to go back to eight, though, really, because there's normally eight people. Oh. There's normally ten people. That's gone wrong, isn't it? Things that go wrong are Nick playing with screen sizes at the wrong time. Yeah, maybe we'll do it later. Do you think so? Yeah. Might help. So this is, uh, this is group four. Mm. Nick needs to get the timing sorted so that it has the surnames. No, that's your job. No, that that's is your definitely your job. job. I am really going to have to start thinking about, you know, how this is. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. Get I've off. I've ruined you it. Don't I'm sorry. You need to make that smaller. You just have it going off the screen. Oh. See? No. See? Yeah. No, it's fine. I know exactly what I'm doing. Do you? All right. Okay. And then just. 
Oh, down. like, yeah, that. like a that. Bit higher up, though. A bit higher up. You need to get two more. So it gets to ten. That's it. That's really good. I like that. If you go that little bit okay. higher, we can, this we can make this one you smaller. Let's, let's, show the, let's, let's publish the grid line-up. Let's publish the grid line-up. Yeah, because for some reason we seem to have stopped. Hang on. During race. Clear. Pre-race. And it's qualified as well. Should we actually use these features? This yeah, week? why ever not? I need to go up a little bit. Brilliant. Boom. Yeah, for the last race of the day. <laughs> Is the internet still working? Vaguely. So you've got nine minutes to go and it'll beat the previous record of the day. Why is the delay happening? There's always a delay of 45 seconds at least. Yeah, at least. But it's been longer than usual. Yeah, it builds up with errors, isn't it, a point? A lot of it actually is down to the individual, to the, to the watchers as such. So, top eight are qualifying. First round are qualifying. We changed the top eight number? Yes. One great Who four. Who do you think I am? The greatest changer of graphics in the world. One of the nice things about having these headsets this year is, look, I can, I can confidently my hands in my pockets. It's quite nice. And I can lunge. Do you like the headsets? Do you think it's a good thing? Uh, I do think it's a good thing, but I don't like it going across the top of my head. I feel like it's giving me a headache. Like when you it's wear really you know, your hair. You, you know when you wear a cap that's too tight. No, I never wear a cap. Well, you know when you're wearing a, a bowler, bowler hat, hat to work in the office. That's yes, not been fitted correctly. Yes, I do. I have that problem all the time. Yeah, well, that's constantly like. bowler hatted Start issues. Start order. Car one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seconds to start. All cars for the starting positions. So, final heat is Bruno Cahello. One, take the first car off, please, Zach. Do you use listening? <laughs> so, Cahello, with the X ray, about to lead off the first round of the top heat of qualifying for this 2017 European Championship, brought to you from Amafusis by EFRA, the European Federation of Automobiles, and our sponsors, Infinity and Montec, and we are RC Racing TV. And Alex Hagberg is standing on a box. Not living in a box, maybe. So Gehella immediately looks very darty as he goes round the uh, sweeper onto the main straight, hits the main straight, and powers down for 113 kilometers an hour. So just over the 70 mile an hour mark, comes in now to the bit wide there, coming into the entrance to the Montec section before he'll flip into the Efra kink now. Sprints down and he goes round the uh, infinity turn. That first lap was a 19.8. So immediately we've got fast sub 20 seconds, but Bruno Cahello is not the fastest because the fastest in lap one was the 19.7 of Ronald Volker. So Cahello now through the kink again. Running an all white body. Earlier he had did have his uh, his race colours, so he's obviously decided he wants to use a different one of his Montec body shells, different design. Uh, and so he's gone for a rattle can white. No problem with that. Currently it's Hagberg in third, Reinhardt in fourth, Harper in fifth. You can see it on the side. We've got first names. B.R. Ru is Bruno, who's taken the lead overall from Ronald Volker. So let's drop back one car, Zach, and that's Ronald Volker, our reigning and defending European champion. Won it at the Hoodie Arena last year in a pretty spectacular set of three finals, which were kind of bookended by a selection of accidents, mainly caused by the same person. But let's not go into that now. Um, in fact, Brisbane just made a mistake, which is going to take him out of the lead of this one. And you can probably see that white car is much, much closer in the front of the frame to the blue and white machine with the jagged sawtooth uh, wasp-like markings on the side of Ronald Volker. Who apparently will put any one sticker on this car uh, if you get to see that part of the uh, pit walk in a minute. I wish I bought some stickers. So Volker now does take over the overall lead. He is just ahead of Cahello, who's still in second despite the error in the last lap, which was a maybe four or five tenths of an error. And then you've got Reinhardt in third and Hagberg in fourth. We're about two minutes down. So Volker now sprints into the... Uh, Infinity hairpin. 
Let's drop back one car to the pure green machine. That is also a rattle can body shell for uh, Alexander Hagberg, but being Alex, he's rattle can it green rather than rattle can it white or a fluorescent colour. Hagberg now gets the end of the straight with a speed of 112 kilometres now. About 35 to 40 kilometres an hour faster than the spec engine. You can see what the mod engines are doing where they're making their time. Sweeping around, he does. Again, if you're used to seeing these uh, top racers hitting every single apex, well, they're used to it as well, but with the lack of grip, not so easy, if I'm honest. Hagberg are looking pretty good. Uh, lap times for Hagberg, yeah, about three or four tenths off where he wants to be. At the moment, it's looking like this first round is uh, alternating between Cahello and Volker. It's looking like cahello has got it at the moment because he is few tenths in absolute time ahead. He's got a 0.8 for second lead over Volker. And we'll Hagberg's a had a mosaic. There. So let's see that again. What happened to, to uh, Hagberg? Oh, with the Serpent Technologies replay. He comes into the corner. Oh, blimey. Just got a complete sort of uh, power slide. in the wrong part of the track in tyres. That's uh, Hagberg. He's going to have to pretty much uh, uh, throw those. Two ALEs. Alex Hagberg is now last after a 27 second lap, so a nightmare for Alex there. So wipe that round out, it's all gone, no point bothering with it, it's the end of the day for that one. So let's now, uh, who haven't we seen yet? Let's see if we can find Mark. And need to go onto the main straight, uh, Zach, at the end of the main straight, it's Mark Reinhardt. And Hagberg's given up, in fact, after a bit of a disaster, so he's driving the Infinity chassis after many, 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 many years at Tamiya. Comes in through the Efra Kink. Complete lack of, yeah, isn't he? he's really decided to go for the lines and a complete lack of aggression going through the snake's head there. Down the straight, 108 kilometers an hour. So that car's actually pretty much being driven within itself. So Reinhard probably just looking for a banker run here, and driving it within itself. I think one of the reasons Hagberg's parked up is basically to try and save the tyres. They haven't got to use the tyres as often. I think they've got four sets for six runs. But obviously you have to use all of them twice. So you've got one to get half a set on it, half a run rather than the whole run. That makes more sense. We'll get more into that tomorrow. Okay, hello, still leading this one. You see BRU leading in the left-hand side. Second place, Volker. Third place, Reinhardt. Fourth place, Harper. Fifth place, Kajoven. Kajoven, sorry, not Kajoven. Bertie as well doing well. And we're now down to the last 15 seconds. So Reinhardt carries on going into the Montec section before he comes back into the Effort King race. Quite sharp, the Effort King in front of us. It's a big testing area. It's quite interesting that these, this same track was trundled, trundled around by um, the one-fifth cars. It looked pretty big for them, Matt, didn't it? But it did. But it these, did. It looked really good for them. And these cars are doing a pretty similar thing. I must admit, I've never been here before, and having watched a bit of the one-fifth recently to remind myself, I thought the track was much bigger than this. Just, it, I mean, you put a certain car on, it looks a bit larger. And Kello has walked away with the top score. So Kello wins, Volker second, Reinhard third. 24 hours to finish now whether Minichucci will come in. He does. Kutoven fifth. Mm, interesting. Harper was ending up in fourth in the end. That, that result's wrong. So it was a bit changed off. That Harper ended up in fourth. So let's just run through the end of the round one. Um, who is where? Um, because we can look at that overall. And I'll also run you for the spec as well, which we missed out on earlier. Now, what we're going to do after this, we're going to play back the uh, pit walk. And uh, after that... New time for tomorrow on Sunday, uh, oh, blimey, it's new time. I'll, I'll talk about that as well in a second. So let's see the ranking list in Modified. So the ranking list at the moment after... Oh, it's not... It's not it's as. Right, so Cahello is, is the fastest. It's Volker in second, Jasmine in third. So like Jasmine, who was in the second heat, has come right up and is in third overall. Mark Reinhardt is in fourth. Thomas Victoron is in fifth. Dave Perez Perez is sixth. This is Christopher Krapp is seventh. Mark Fisher is eighth. Nicola Marone is ninth. Sudoff is tenth. Laurent is eleventh. Olowski is with Harper, who was fourth in that heat. He's thirteenth overall. So what's really interesting is we've got a real mixed up set of because of the qualify, the practice was difficult, we've got a real mixed up set. It's not the top eight getting the top eight scores. It's uh, quite interesting on that one. Now, what I'm going to have to do now, if you bear with me one second, is I'm going to give you the overall on the spec we didn't see because of the technical issues we apologise for. And currently, it looks like things may be slightly better. So at the end of the first round of spec, we've got five rounds of it tomorrow, so you'll get more than used to seeing it. Uh, it's 
unsurprisingly, it's Jan Rafelski, the turning champion, who is in the top. Alexander Duche is second. Tom Kragfelski is third. Mac Mac Max Mackler is fourth. Steve Favrell is fifth. Drew Madison sixth. Thera Bello is seventh. Uh, Carlos Fernandez Espinosa is eighth. And Andrea Valero is ninth. Carlos Ferrando is tenth. And finally, uh, in F1. The ranking list, sorry, for Heat 1, uh, for, for F1, it is uh, Jan Matheska again leading. Ivan De La Calle is second. A bar is third. Martin Hoodie, fourth. That's, so only, Martin Hoodie's only racing in F1. Uh, Jean Michel Varanard, uh, then Hector Albert Cherin. Uh, Oliver Bortnick and Luke Lee are bringing up the only eight drivers in that, so they're all guaranteed an A final. So we will now play out the grid pit walk. Now the question is, when we come out, it may be that the opening ceremony is on, in which case we'll carry on going. If it's not, we'll say goodbye. So you need to come back in 22 minutes and find out what's going on. But until then, here's me earlier, before I broke down, talking to the drivers. Hello and welcome to Al Musafes, I think it is. I'll get it right by the end of the day. This is the our pit walk. We are here at the EFRA European Championship for ISTC cars. That now includes, includes four F1, spec and mod. And that is the track. And there is a satellite. And here is a small area of drivers. We'll come to the bigger area later. But we're going to come and we're going to talk to a man who knows all about European Championships. It's, oh, I've got the wrong side of him. It's Mark Reinhardt. Mark, hello, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice to see you. So the big change really this year is after an entire lifetime of working with Tammy, you're now with Infinity. Yeah, that's right. So how, how did that come about? I mean, was it, was it a case, obviously, obviously Tammy had wound up their, um, their operations. Did you have like every single chassis manufacturer in the world beating down your door for a bit of a bit of mark? Uh, no, actually not. I think I just uh, got the first offer from Infinity and uh, that was the team I wanted to go to. So uh, I didn't get any other offers and uh, yeah. I'm happy with that. What I have now. So, to give us an idea about the the Infinity car, is this this the obviously sitting there? Is that the definitive version? Is it still is it still a you know, work in progress? No, it's uh, actually on the market now. It's a IF14. It's kind of the basic car, and uh, yeah, I still we try some stuff to get it better and better. But uh, I think we're on a good way, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the car so far. You've had a couple of practices. How are you finding the track here? Honestly, or no, honestly, it's fine. Uh, well, but no swearing. <laughs> No, I think the, the layout is okay, but like the traction is pretty bad, and the wind makes it even worse. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's not a lot of fun to drive, to be honest. It's a really, really big track. This is the same track and the same design that five years ago had large-scale touring cars around it in one fifth, and had the IC cars. Is it? Does it suit the smaller electric cars? I think the size is not a problem. I think the size is fine. It's just pretty open layout, but um, yeah, I think the traction makes it uh, even worse. The size is fine to me. Now, we, I think, am I right in saying, if I'm wrong, please, that the, the change for this year is the modified drivers have a, a new set of tyres for every round, is that right? Actually, I don't know, I don't think so. Oh, okay, so it's so still three sets. I know, it's not, I'll tell you what, we were in, uh, we were in Spain about, uh, or how many years ago, at, uh, in the middle of nowhere, at a large scale event, and it was next door to a pig farm, and there was one inch of flies on everything, it was, oh, that's, that's two and a half centimetres. Um, all right, well, I've five sets or four sets for qualifying for six rounds, and we get one set for the final. But we can bring the tyres to the final, I guess. So. Okay, so it's still, still tyre tactics. Yeah, maybe a little bit. But so far, we just use new tyres every run just to see if it gets better or not. Cool. Thanks, Mark. Best of luck for this uh, first event with the Infinity. And they've gone for red. So they've stolen Kyosho's red. Um, let's see if we can meander around to the left. And we'll speak to young Mr. Victor Vilk with the world's strangest car, also known as the very effective serpent. Uh, what was it? X -E -R -E what is it? What's, what's the model name? Uh, hello, 4X. 4X. 4X, they call it, yeah. Now this thing is fantastic. I think this this is an engineering marvel. When someone had one, all I wanted to do was like, I don't want to race it. I just want to fiddle with it. But completely different. You've had it for about a year now. Have you got a handle on what does what and how to move it about and set up some things? Yeah, I think we've figured out, you know, how to what stuff we need to change. But um, we basically improve a little bit step by step. Have some new parts now, so it's getting better and better. But we're still learning, of course. Still it's, very it's a very, very radical design of suspension. You can see there's no uh, shocks and over, uh, coilovers. It's all done with very much like actually more like full size cars. I mean, what is the advantage? What's the theoretical advantage of this layout? I think the, the thinking behind was that you can have a dampening up and down and a separate dampening for the side. 
Okay, so roll damping. Again, another, another thing from uh, full size, if you've, if you've looked at some full size videos, you often have what's called a third damper on full size cars, which actually damps the, the roll as well. And, how, and Mark's saying there's no traction. Uh, how are you finding the track? Yeah, it's uh, basically no traction at all, <laughs> honestly. Um, so we just try to, yeah, make the car more easy to drive to find some traction. <laughs> Is that a mismatch between the tyres and the ch and the tarmac, or is it uh, just with the tarmac's dirty? I think uh, with the tarmac and the wind, of course. I think basically it. Oh, okay, thank you much, because the wind is going to drop. So, Victor, it's good. Thank you much. Because we will have uh, the first round of qualifying right after you watch this video. Now, this is my uh, my favourite racer. I'm not sure what her name or his name is. Hello. Very, you're very sweet. I'm not quite sure. Your, your owner's not here, so I'm not sure what breed you are. But as you know, I always love a nice RC racing dog. Hello. Never touch a strange dog. Uh, not sure what they think, what she or he thinks of the traction, but uh, certainly has a lot of hair. <laughs> well, sweet. You've missed me. I'm over here now. Hello. We're going this way now to the main, the main part of the, uh, that's, uh, that's a food hut. That's quite important. Always important to have food, obviously. Uh, this is where, oh, should we go in, shall we? Let's go, let's go. This is the, the area of food. This is where our, oh, look at that. Look, 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 look. look. Paella, pasta, obviously chips. You have to have chips. Lumps of meat. A young lady try, hey, the young lady's trying not to be on the camera, therefore you have to be on the camera. That's the rule. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> and uh, that's uh, most important, the food. Very important. Uh, this is where they get stickers and stuff. Not as easy oh. And then next one along is the toilets, which you don't want to see. And then you get the main uh, area of... Uh, uh, the well, the the pitting area. That's where we are up there, on the uh, the rostrum. That's that's Zach who's working with us with his very trendy T-shirt, taking pictures as well. And this is the the raft area of uh, of, of the driving sort of thing. You see, there's the drivers, drivers, drivers. And uh, let's go and see a, an old friend of the show, as they say, or just an old friend, or just old. It's young Elliot. Elliot, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very very well. Now um, we we're on the other side. We spoke to a couple of. That's good. Yeah, don't stick to me. Don't stick to me. Um, how do you find the track? Everyone says it's, it's a bit low grip. There's not a lot of grip, and um, I think we're struggling with that at the minute. But we're getting there. We're getting there slowly. But if everyone's got no grip, it's just a, just a leveler, isn't it? It doesn't really matter, surely. I guess so. But then um, it depends how how the cars works, how everything else works to to in these conditions, and what people expected. I guess so. Um, it's different tyre, different track conditions to what we're used to for everyone. So we're just trying to see where we get to. And what are the tyre rules this year? Is it, f uh, it, it Mark didn't even know, which is worrying. Um, <laughs> How many sets do you have for qualifying? Do you know? I think it's five. Should I phone Ollie up and find out? Probably. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hi, Ollie. Is Ollie doing your tyres again? Uh, uh, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Are you pleased that we are, we are up live for the first round of qualifying, but not live yet? Right, okay. But the first, I think, the, what time's the first round of qualifying? Like five? Quarter past four, I think. Oh, so he'll be, for you? He'll still be at work, then. Or oh, rot. He hasn't got internet at work then. Mm, uh, wow. Well, yeah. Working. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you obviously with the uh, the Schumacher. I mean, you're you're, you're ploughing that furrow. I mean, how how different is this the car now, a year on from when you were last in the European Championship at the Hoodie Arena? Uh, so now we've got the MI6 Evo. So we had some new wishbones, new chassis, new motor mount, and some other new parts. So um, yeah, it's it's a different car, but it's still based off the same principles. So. It's not a million miles away from, from where it was last year. It was good last year, um, and it's been good ever since, so hopefully it'll be good this weekend. Is it just a case now, really, of sort of sharpening the razor blade? I mean, are there any big steps we made anymore? It's difficult to say. I think yeah, there are some manufacturers making some big steps, um, and there are others not making big steps. I think we're probably somewhere in the middle. So a middle step? We're on a middle step, yeah. So. so so Ollie is halfway up the stairs. That's a stair that he sits. <laughs> we're like, we're kind of, yeah. We're uh, taking the middle ground to see where we get to, but it's, it's working pretty well, so we'll see how it goes for the rest of the weekend. Fabulous. Thanks, Ollie. Um, well, as it's a short trip, we'll, we'll look to the other, the other uh, Schumacher um, representative, and I can speak to, to Michael. Michael, of course, since, uh, since the last European Champions, you became a world champion at, uh, at uh, GT12, but now you're back with the touring cars. How are you feeling? How are you feeling about this race meeting? Well, it's just pretty good. I mean, uh, the track is not so, not so uh, good for a uh, touring car, then scale. It's a bit bumpy and big, but it's going pretty good. Do you feel that if the track is out of the ordinary, not like a usual track, it actually gives you more of an advantage because you know, you, you, it has that random factor that makes someone come from the back more chance? 
Mm, I'm not sure. I think uh, the biggest advantage here f is for someone that drives a lot during car and different tracks. So yeah, it's like idea what the, what does uh, like the setup change does to his car and uh, on different tracks. Michael, thank you very much. Good luck for the rest of the day. Okay, now let's uh, meander this way. We'll uh, carry on going. You know, there's, there's people everywhere. It's like a, it's a cornucopia of potential. Oh, victim over here first. Hang on a second. Need to have a quick victim conversation. <sighs> Chris. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chris. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much. <laughs> and and uh, is it 49 again? Yeah, that'll do. Plus a few. I'll take 49, yeah. yeah. But this, this is the good part of me. There's been no controversies yet, ever. Not yet. Yeah, you could be filming one now, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <I'm glad. laughs> what, a controversial, a controversial birthday for Chris? No, 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 no. I'm always away on my birthday. Oh, yeah. It's the first time you got me. Oh, we got you now. 62, by the way. Okay, let's keep moving. <laughs> uh, it's nice to find someone older than me at a race meeting. That's the main reason I'm mentioning his age. So let's meander down a little bit more. And I can see our reigning champion. It's like, almost like you're hiding from me. Let's go and have a... A quick word with Mr. Volker. Oh, sorry. No. Obviously, this is a new car. This is the orange thing. Um, so, so, Ron, you're, you're, you're rapidly covering up your car. Are you therefore running something uh, prototype? No, no, no. It's just um, using my car. Just whatever. Possibly. That means yes. Hey, Ron, you are the reigning champion. What do you need to do to win this one? Because it's a very different circuit than the Huddy Arena. Well, basically, you're trying to win um, two mains. I mean, uh, people could play about lack of grip, um, a difficult circuit. Is that is that? Are you finding it difficult, or is your camera working particularly well? I mean, it's um, similar to all the previous years. You don't have so much grip anyway from the from the track, from the tires, from from the temperature, from the wind. So it's not much different than, uh, for example, last year or two years ago. Slightly different uh, tire tactic this time. You've got more sets of tires, haven't you? I think one more set, but also one more qualifier, if I'm correct. Yeah. Um, Still, the focus is um, to be uh, fast on um, on the runs where you use the new tires, and then trying to make good runs on on used tires. But basically, if the quite close, um, basically if you run new tires and others on new tires, you try to beat them. This is basically kind of heads up, and I think Q1 basically everybody runs normally, and then there's um, a bottom one. What's the drop off between new tires and used tires? Um, it looks not too bad, but um, also today the the track condition changed from run to run. Um, it didn't get so much better as expected, maybe, and we had only three runs yet. So, um, we'll see. I am interested. You have a, you're sponsored by YouTube, the shoemaker. Is that just a kind of a joke, or actually are you some sort of YouTube? This is, this is um, a German guy. Yeah. Um, uh, he gave me a sticker, and uh, I thought, oh, it matched my 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 other stickers. So. What, so all we have to do to get on the world champion's car is just to give you a sticker. Well, I, I know that guy also personally, so... You know me personally. I haven't bought any stickers. I, I haven't got any. You never got me any. Right, next time. Next time I'm bringing you 20 sheets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks, Rob. So we'll, I'm sure we'll annoy you many, many more times like that. So, let's, uh, oh, we'll just go over here. And we have a... a hu I'm about to say a husband and daughter, but it's father and daughter team. They are a husband as well, I assume, at some point. Getting there next year. Getting there next year. So it's uh, Brian and Harley Eldridge. So you finally decided to uh, embrace the European Championship then, Brian? Yep, uh, so much positive about it. I thought we'd come and race with the top boys and give Harley um, end of exam holiday. That's quite a good minute. And how do you find the track? All the, uh, the, the, uh, the pros are saying it's tricky and, and not much grip. I thought it's just like any sort of English, <laughs> English summer day, really. I haven't tried it, but looking at the cars going round, it looks fairly difficult. Are you just mechanicing then? Today, yes, because like I say, um, Harley's just finished exams, so we just wanted some father and daughter time rather than me race, I'll let Harley race. I don't know what this is about, I, I'd never let anyone else. So Harley, anyway, so you are now the, 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 the focus, the focus of the Eldridge team. How are you finding it? Um, it's better than when we race together, but <laughs> I like him like this, to be honest, but... So you like having him as your servant? Yeah. And how have you found the track so far? Uh, it's all right. Uh, a bit slidey on the back, but we're working on it. Yeah. Best of luck. And then, of course, the qualifying starts at about, oh, well, when you're watching this, about 20 minutes of qualifying will start. There's a lot more people here. Is it more, uh, more English here. I think there's a bit more Damo. Damien, so you are, 
once again running the usual unpleasant body shell colours, uh, which you would manage to carry through both 12th and touring car. Well, there's no metallic orange. You complained last time, you thought it was gold, you couldn't make up your mind. There's, there's no gold anywhere on it now. You have to remember I have very bad eyesight, I'm very old. Right, well, yes. So you decided to come down to the Euros as well? It's quite, we haven't had a big uh, British contingent for quite a while, so did you, did you corral all these people along or did you follow? Um, no, a few others sort of undenied about it and I thought, yes, let's go, let's try it, see what happens. I've done the FMR Worlds, I haven't done a touring car Euros, so try something else. I think it's always quite fun, it's a bit more relaxed and uh, there's plenty of time between heats, you get quite a lot of track time as well. Yes, which is always a good thing, but then when you come to somewhere you've never ever been before, it's quite a big track, fast, you need as much practice as you can get. So, yep, it's, it's going okay so far, keep trying more things each time. And are you having problems with wind as well? Well, yes, but then so is everybody. I don't think it's just the food. That's the paella. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, the wind's very strong, as you can see from the flags, in one direction. So the cars are really good, uh, sort of heading to the left. And as soon as you're heading to the right, they overshoot every corner and kick and squirm. But everybody's got the same. So let's just see what happens. Thanks, David. That's David Giddens. Thanks, man. Let's, uh, oh, he's, conveniently, Bruno stood up. This makes it much easier to talk to you. Bruno, European Championship at Touring Car. One of the very few things now you've never won. Yeah, that's true. I will try it for sure. Um, yeah, last year was very, very close. So this year I will force even more to try to win. Well, I mean, does it? How do you approach the events? I mean, is, is, is it just like you know any other event, or does it have a kind of a, a special element because you've not won it? Not really. <laughs> to be honest, uh, we didn't even come here to practice. So I have the the sched my schedule is super tight. So. I have no time to practice at all, so ah, just one more race. One more race. Yes. And uh, you've been out on the track already. I mean, are you finding a track you enjoy racing? Yeah, I really like the layout of this track. I've already been here like three times uh, and the Euros, and uh, I really like the the layout. But just the traction is not that high that normally we drive. So yeah, we are struggling a little bit with the setup. But for sure, we'll find something very good. How different is it driving an electric touring car around here compared to an IC touring car? It's different. I don't really remember because it was like two, three years ago. I drove here, so it's different. It's different. Thanks, Rita. You've got memory like me. I've, I've, Zach asked you where we stayed in the hotel last year. I've forgotten, so uh, it's fine. So let's uh, let's meander carrying on going now, and we will uh, uh, move round to uh, the doctor himself, Mr. Hagberg. Uh, Alex, how are you? Another year, another European Championship. You've won one. You've not won the others. How are you going to win this one? Oh, we'll try the same procedure we do every year. Work hard and focus on the car setup and try to not make mistakes when it really matters. I mean, the, the, the issue you have is not only you, are you competing against Reinhardt and Volker, but you're also competing against a very, very fast teammate. How do you get an edge on Bruno? That must be the key point. I mean, obviously we run the same car, so I can only use the information we have in the team and try to uh, personalize the setup for my driving style. I mean, do you start with a very similar setup or does one of you prefer more front end or more at the back? Yeah, most of the time we use quite a similar setup, but with some small tweaks to to suit our perspective driving styles. It's a big track. It's it's hot out there, but there is a bit of wind. Is it is it um, marginal on the electrics, or the electrics having no problems at all with it? Uh, to be honest, it's a bit inconsistent from lap to lap because of the wind. So it's a bit it's a bit hard to judge sometimes how f how fast you can enter the corners. So that is going to be a deciding factor for the qualifying consistency. How important is the tyre structure going to be? Is it, it's a bit easier than last, last year because we've got another set of tyres, but is it still going to be all important again? Or do you think you can? Do you, it's going to become more obvious? Or is there still be people playing with different concepts? I mean, as always, it's going to come into play, but we have quite a few sets of tyres, and I don't think it's going to be the deciding factor, but it's going to have some, some importance, of course. Alex, thank you very much. And we'll uh, worry you again. He's got lots of time. And this, this time, I've not, I, I actually knocked that over early with our power lead. So I, uh, I've already ruined this race once. So what can I do? Um, let's have a meander. Let's, 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 we've, we've spoken to all this, to the uh, well known people. Let's see if we can find someone completely unknown. Who can we find out who's completely un, well, unknown to me? I'm sure known to everyone else. Uh, this young man here, I've got an impression. Hello, sir. Ah, you speak English then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like a native, in fact. Sorry, I don't recognize your name is Terry Lee. Terry Lee, Terry in the F1s. I'm not racing, it's my son who's racing. Oh, your son is racing, even better. I mean, um, so um, what is it, what is it what, why have you decided to embrace the F1s at the Euros then? Well, we've, he's doing very well in um, British Championship. He's a current 
national champion and he's um, leading the um, this year's championship. So we thought we'd um, see how we were against the, um, the the top guys in Europe. I was watching the cars out there when the practice. It's a very very big track for those cars, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's bigger than we've ever um, raced on before. You know, compared to the tracks we got at home, um, speed doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. Um, but yeah, it's, it's certainly different to what we're used to. And um, quick, quick question: If your son does get blocked by someone, will he pull alongside and try and knock him off the track? Um, well, it's, it seems to be the way to, but I think you've got to be German to do that. Yeah, so. <laughs> That's a German move. Thank you very much, Terry. Indeed, I'm glad you're with me on that one. Thank you. Okay, so let's. Uh, how long have we got? Oh, we got. I think one more. One more. I think before we uh, move back to the live, the live environment. Let's see if we. Uh, let's have a word with it. See if we can have a word with this man here. I've no idea if he speaks English. Excuse me, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, a little. Hey, you're ve you're very busy. Just, just tell, you, tell me your name and where you're from and how you're doing. I'm David Lara from Spain. Oh, okay. uh -huh. And what what? Uh, Why are you are you testing your electrics? You have a problem with electrics? No, I I check the I set up the the in the car because I have a, a crank on the on the. <laughs> he's coming very soon with all, I mean, I mean, as his automatic. He's he's about to go up the track very soon. We will be bringing you live track action of the first round of full qualifying. There are six rounds of qualifying here this weekend. There'll be five tomorrow, so we're on for a long time. Best three to count. We think there's four sets of tyres. Let's be honest, they don't seem to know themselves how many tyres there are. But we will tell you all that when we get the information. Probably in a spreadsheet. Probably for Molly coming up soon. But until then go and look at the track hello everybody and we are back with you in a live situation i'm afraid matt that the opening ceremony is not starting and it's not imminent for 40 minutes the event's cancelled then pretty much so pretty much so yeah we were thinking of staying on air but you're not going to watch 40 minutes of nothing no um well we, we, we might see us rolling out a cable or what dancing a little jig i'm and the wind's going to too. do some star jumps Ooh. Which star are you going to be tonight, uh, Matthew? The star of David. <laughs> tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be the star of David. That's a difficult, that's a difficult star to do. It is, actually, yes. But that's the important news is is that we will be back tomorrow um, with, hopefully, uh, less issues than we had today. And we're back at 10 o'clock local time, which is when in England? Uh, what, what time did you say? I wasn't even <laughs> listening to that bit. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Quarter to 10. Stop. Quarter Stop. to 9. Stop. Go on. Sorry. Well, the good news is we'll be back tomorrow morning, hopefully with less issues than before. And we'll be back at 10 o'clock local time and 10 o'clock European time. What time is that in England, Matt? Uh, 9 a.m. <laughs> well done. Excellent work. I can't believe you've stopped listening to me after like literally four seconds. I was thinking about what I have to do next. <laughs> well, eat a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically it. He doesn't do chips anymore. They're bad for him. Uh, anyway, so uh, thank you for sticking with us so far today. We'll, 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 we'll leave you with a locked off shot of the track for a while. That'll be exciting. Yeah. Um, and we'll be back at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning, uh, which That's is 9 o'clock in the UK. It's other times in other countries. We have five rounds of qualifying. The final five rounds of qualifying for this, the European uh, ISTC International Scale Touring Car Championship and the F1 Championship, brought to you by EFRA, the European Federation of Radio Automobiles, and our fabulous sponsors, Infinity and Montec. So thank you all very much indeed. We will see you tomorrow morning and it's going to be super smooth Friday. <laughs> you bet it is. <laughs> oh yeah. Bye. <laughs>